One last thing guys, um, this tool that Kate bought last year is brilliant. Um, I think it's a type of Asian hoe. Yes. So it's basically like a spade, you, you dig like that and it just, it's, ama it's an amazing tool. Um, over time, it wears away the shaft here. So I came up with this trick. I hammered it back down to where the shaft was thickest and I've just put some staples in just to stop it from sliding down because it got so loose that if you held it up like that, this very heavy bit of iron would have hit you on the hand and probably broken a finger or something. So it just kept swinging. yeah, but I, I highly recommend this tool. Um, I'll just show you how it works. Okay, if you hold that. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. So you hold it like this. There's two ways you can do it. You can either do surface like that, just mind your feet, or You know, I'm going through rubble here and it's barely taking any effort really. It just drags it, just drags everything and anything with it. Now you can't get them in this country, this came from China, we had to get it from China. But honestly guys, if you're doing any digging and you want to save your back, get one of these. Honestly, the best best buy you'll ever make. And how have you fixed it so that... Uh, oh, these are just so these are just wire staples, so you use them on fencing. Fencing staples. So I just, I hammered this down, so I turned it upside down, I hammered this down you so you can do just see where I've hammered it. In, yeah. um, and I put one in there just to stop it from sliding and, and one, one like that side. and then just bent it over just okay. to give it a bit of grip. It does slide from side to side but it's a lot safer than it was probably about two days ago. So. Well I've just had a go and uh, it's it's great. It has some play to it but enough play for it to be you know functional. You don't want it. You're not going to hold it up static. and it's going to go shunk down on your hand because that is very very sharp. Oh that would break your wrist. Oh it would do worse probably. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, this this honestly, guys, the, the amount of leverage you have, uh, there's less shock that drives up the shaft, and I have carpal tunnel, really bad carpal tunnel on both arms at the moment. Um, it's like having your arms on fire. It's not very nice, but using this tool and just doing that, I don't get any shock up the shaft, and it's saving my arms. So honestly, guys, get one, get one. Right. Yeah. And I just wanted to share. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for that.